Hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. On behalf of Transoft Solutions, I welcome you all to the second webinar in 2019 Auto Turn Tips webinar series. For those of you who already don't know me, I'm Charles Sebastian Chalisheri, and I'm a civil technologist with Transoft Solutions. Today, I would like to present to you the different ways to create a unique vehicle of your choice in Autoturn. This presentation shall be approximately 30 minutes long, followed by a short 15 minutes question and answer session. If we are not able to address your questions during the Q&A session, we will send you the answers by email. Last but not least, at the end of this presentation, we would like you to complete a two minute survey as we really appreciate learning more about our customers and how you use the software. With that, let's jump right onto our presentation. Here goes the agenda for today's webinar. As we have had multiple webinars showcasing vehicle creation tips in the past, today I shall be focusing mostly on the core steps on how to create a unique vehicle in the software. I will start the presentation by focusing on the basic steps in vehicle creation and explain the parameters to be modified to create a single unit and a multi-unit vehicle in 2D as well as in 3D. I will also briefly go over the additional steps involved in modifying the special transport vehicles. We will then have a sneak peek on how to swap existing vehicle parts to create a new combination of vehicle. After which, we will jump right onto the technical demo, focusing on vehicle creation and adding loads onto the vehicle in both 2D and in 3D. Last but not least, we will get to know more about Project Support Services or PSS and finally jump onto the question and answer session to conclude the presentation. By the way, feel free to ask questions throughout the presentation. All the libraries and vehicles in Autoturn are contained within the vehicles tool in the ribbon. Within the vehicle tool interface, there are two different tools for modeling a custom vehicle, which are create new vehicle tool and the copy vehicle tool. So what's the difference between these tools? Both the tools have similar characteristics as they allow users the flexibility to edit almost all the parameters of a vehicle. The only exception is that the copy vehicle tool copies all the vehicle parameter, including the profile of the vehicle, but the create new vehicle tool copies all but the profile information of the vehicle. The create vehicle tool also provides a user additional flexibility where you can add or delete parts as desired but the copy vehicle tool doesn't. So, use the copy vehicle tool when we have to model a similar vehicle with modified dimensions. And create vehicle tool can come handy when you have to model a new unique vehicle from scratch. So it's clear that Autoturn permits a user to modify most of the vehicle characteristics. For creating a single unit vehicle in 2D, the editable parameters include units of creation, desired vehicle name, library name, region, country, vehicle profile, type and class, vehicle length, width, vehicle wheelbase, overhangs, front and rear, axle group details, tire size, front and rear track width of the vehicle, axle steering capabilities, lock to lock time, and steering lock angle. There are additional parameters for multi-unit vehicle, like semi-trailers and articulated buses, which are the articulating angle, and the steering limits, which are the pitch and the, and the roll angle values. By assigning relevant values for all these parameters, we can mold a new vehicle in 2D. Now let's see the parameters to modify or create a vehicle in 3D. In order to modify the 3D parameters, let's work on the second tab 
of the vehicle interface window, which is called roofline view data for a vehicle to be analyzed in 3D. In addition to the 2D characteristics, we need to provide a height, a roofline information, which is the upper part of the body, ground clearances at various locations, which is the underside of the body. Additionally, we can add chamfers and notches to enable a more realistic outer body. And for multi-unit vehicles, we have control over the connector heights, which means we can modify the position of the fifth wheel and the height it's connecting to the adjacent parts as desired. This assures that all the parts in a multi-unit vehicle are aligned and positioned correctly. This information is crucial for vertical clearance analysis as well as 3D swept path analysis in Autoturn Pro. Now let's see the edit additional editable features available to modify a special transport vehicle. Most of the special transport vehicles included in the library are oversized overweight vehicles and hence possess multiple axle groups and multiple axles in a group. They also exhibit complex steering characteristics like steering linkages and manual steering where the trailer steering can be controlled independent of the behavior of the truck. In the software, we can add, delete, or edit the number of axles in a group and the number of wheels in an axle. We can define the steering linkage values for the trailer and also define the manual steering capabilities. To go over the detailed steps in creating special transport is a huge topic. Hence, it will not be dealt with in this webinar. To simplify and speed up the creation of custom vehicles, we have developed the ability to create new vehicles by combining parts from existing vehicle in Autotone libraries. This tool will save you a lot of time when you have to model multiple vehicles in which same trailer units are to be attached to different trucks or vice versa. So let's consider the vehicle A with a normal container trailer. And if we want to swap the part to a low boy trailer, we shall adopt this method. So vehicle B is a low boy trailer from a different library. In this video, we shall see how this swapping is done easily. First, we have to select the vehicle with the desired tractor. Click Create New Vehicle Tool to modify and enter all the relevant details. Navigate to the second part in the window, which is the trailer. And now replace the trailer from a different vehicle in the library. Now, let's update the vehicle profile type with the relevant truck and trailer parts. And the new vehicle is created in no time with the desired truck and trailer combination. With that, let's jump on to our technical demo. In the demo, we shall be seeing how to create a multi-unit vehicle from a single unit vehicle in 2D and 3D, adding an oversized load to a vehicle both in 2D and 3D, and also the additional parameters for modifying special transport vehicles. Just as an FYI for your information, in Autoturn, we can create complex multi-unit vehicles from even a small passenger car. But it is always the best 
to find a vehicle similar to the one we have to create. But in this demo, in order to cover most parameters, I will show how to model a two-part semi-trailer from a single unit truck. As you know, all the vehicles and libraries are contained within the vehicle tool. Let's go inside. Let's select the Ashto 2018 library. This is a new library that will be released soon. Let's select a single unit truck, which is SU40. And let's use the create new vehicle tool as we have to add an extra unit and also alter the profile. As we already saw, these are the parameters that have to be modified. So let's give a vehicle name. And whenever a new vehicle is created in Autoton, it is automatically saved in the custom library. This can be changed according to the user. Giving a name demo. We can, there is also options to change the region, country, profile type. So the profile type, there is an option to select vehicle or part. We'll go for vehicle. And this is only used as a visual factor for documentation purpose. The profile of this vehicle is not scalable in this case. Because we are converting it into a semi-trailer, let's select semi-trailer CB So here's our profile. So you can also model the vehicle even without the profile information. It only denies you the use of insert profile tool, but does not hinder you from any analysis performed on the vehicle. Let's change the class from commercial truck to a transport truck. And the lock to lock time by default is six seconds, which is considered by auto turn. It is considered to be six seconds to cover a wider range of drivers. The steering lock angle for the semi-trailer, I already know that it's 28.5 degrees. If you already know the steering lock angle, you can enter it directly, or you can calculate the steering lock angle from your turning radiuses. Usually the turning radiuses are published in the guideline or the manufacturer specifications, which you can find online. So if you enter the radius, Autoton automatically calculates the steering lock angle. Now let's go to the next uh, tractor. The commercial truck, the SU40, was a full tractor, but when we convert it into a semi-trailer, it has to be connected. The trailer has to be connected to, to the truck with a pin. So there are two options to go for a pin ahead or a pin behind. Because our pin is centered along with the rear wheelbase, let's select pin ahead and provide the value zero. So we're not changing the pin ahead value. Instead, if the pin was displaced, you can provide values accordingly. Now let's modify front axle group details. As you can see, there's one axle with two wheels and the track would to be eight feet. The width of the truck is eight feet. The length of the tractor, let's change it into 15 feet and let the front overhang be the four feet with the wheelbase of 19.5 feet. So in order to create a new vehicle, we should have all the dimensions and turning characteristics associated with it so that it makes our work easier. 
Now let's add a second part to it. Now we get back. So it's just front only steering and the rear axle group details is two axles, four wheels and the track width is eight foot. In order to modify the tire dimensions, let's go inside the rear axle group details. And if you want to change the tire diameter, tire width, tire spacing, axle spacing, which is between the tires, you can very well do that. You can also add liftable axles, if any, to the vehicle. But I'm going to keep this same for now. Similarly, you can change the front axle group details, the tire width and tire diameter. Now let's navigate to the second part, which is the trailer. And the trailer is connected not with the hitch. As a semi-trailer, let's go for the semi option. And rear fixed, as always. Let's change the width to be a little more than the track, which to be 8.5 foot. So let's change the track accordingly. It's 8.5 feet. The trailer length, let it be 48 feet. And trailer overhang to be 2.5 feet. The wheelbase to be 41. You can all see that Auto 10 has automatically accumulated the articulating angle, pitch, and roll angle values. These values are default for most articulated vehicles. If you have to change, Autoton allows flexibility to the user to change it. But I'm going to keep it the same right now. Axle group details will be the same. And these are all the parameters that's needed to create a 2D vehicle in Autoton. Once we click OK, this vehicle will be saved in the demo library. Now let's click view edit details to modify the 3D parameters. So the 3D parameters can be found in the roofline view data. So the roof, roof line, <coughs> excuse me, is a semi trailer, sorry, a semi tractor CB and let's select a sleeper B which is closer to the profile view. The height we are keeping it the same it's 13.5 feet. The ground clearances of the truck is less so let's go for 1.5 feet. Wheel base is 1.5 feet and the connector height Autoton automatically accumulates the connector height from the ground clearances which we provide. Now let's navigate to the trailer. Instead of the roof outline, which is a box, let's change it to a trailer semi. The height is the same. Let the wheelbase be four feet for the trailer because it's higher than the truck. So with that, a new vehicle, a new two-part vehicle, semi-trailer, is created from a single unit vehicle in 2D and in 3D. And we can find the vehicle in the library name demo, which I had provided. Click OK. And clicking the arc path, the vehicle is ready to use. Now that we have seen how to create a vehicle from the scratch, imagine if you have to check the simulation of a vehicle with an oversized load on it. Let's see the scenario where we have to check the maneuver of a truck loaded with an oversized machinery. So let's consider a flatbed trailer with a load on it. And let's see how the simulation behaves once we add the load onto the vehicle. 
In order for Autoton to recognize a load, it should be a closed polyline. Hence, I have already pre-drawn the outline for the plan view of the machine. So as we do not have a flatbed trailer in our ASTO 2018 library, in order to select a flatbed, let's group all the vehicles according to class. Let's go for the transport truck and let's sort the vehicles according to the profile. And let's search for a flatbed. Yes. So we can see that there's a flatbed trailer available here. So let's click the copy vehicle tool because in this case, I want to copy the vehicle as a whole and I don't want to add any parts to it. As the first step, let's provide a name to it. And let's save it in the same library, which is a demo library. And if you want to change the region, you're able to change it. And change the country accordingly. So the profile type, if we, when we use the copy vehicle tool, the profile type is already copied and you can see it here. So we don't want to change any of these parameters of the vehicle. Let's navigate, see everything is good. Now, in order to add the load, first we have to select which part that the load has to be added. So in this case, I have to add the load onto the trailer. Hence, let's navigate to the second part. At the bottom left corner of the window, there is a define load option. Let's click it. And Autoturn opens a new window asking to import a load. Choose import tool. Let's click on the load. So Autoturn will ask for a datum point where you have to align the load onto the trailer. Let's select the front of the load. Now you can see the load is already placed on the trailer, but it is not aligned properly. As this is an oversized machinery, we need to align this properly so that the weight is balanced and the maneuver is smooth. Hence, let me delete. So there is an option in auto turn to adjust the distance of the load. So if you want, if you want to move the load backwards, we can provide a distance and then Autoturn will adjust the load accordingly. But there is a better way to do this. Let me delete this load and show you one second. So let's navigate to the second part. Import load. Sorry, excuse me. Let's go back. Let's click OK. So let's select. Let's go to our library demo. The demo library which we created the vehicle. And let's select the flatbed with load vehicle which we created. Click OK. Now use the 2D arc path tool to place the vehicle. Right-click to end the tool. Now copy the load and place the load on the trailer where it has to be. So right now I'm centralizing the load so that the weight is balanced to the triaxle at the back. So if this is the desired position. Let's click OK. Now go back into the vehicles. Let's select view edit details. Let's add a new load. Click import load. Select the load. And let's select the datum point to be the front of the trailer. Sorry, I messed it up. So 
I didn't select the second part this time. So I'll have to delete the load once again, navigate to the second part. So these are the small mistakes that we make while adding the load. So now I'm on the second part, import load, select the desired load, select the datum point, and you can see that the load is aligned perfectly on the vehicle. So click OK. Now, if you use the 2D ArcPath tool, you can see that the trailer, the, the vehicle is loaded with the load and the simulation behaves accordingly considering the vehicle body and the load on it. So this is how to create a 2D load in Autoton. Now let's see how to create a 3D load. Let's go into the vehicle details, go into the loads, navigate to the second part. In this type, right now it is 2D only. So we have an option to create a 3D only load, a 2D only load, or a load both in 2D and 3D. This time I'll be choosing the 2D and 3D. And the datum height, which is the height of the flatbed, let it be 6. Just have to go back and check the load, check the height of the flatbed. So it's four foot. Let's go inside. Let's change the load type. Let's provide the datum height to be four meter. And height of the load to be to be twelve point two eight foot. So these values are to be provided in mm. So we have to convert this foot into mm. So I shall be giving it as 1500 mm and the height to be 3900 mm. Let's click OK. Now, for Autoton Pro users, they know that we need to have a 3D terrain in order to use the 3D arc path tool. But in this case, I shall be using the XY plane, considering it to be flat, just for demonstration purposes. So we can either use the 3D arc path tool or convert the 2D simulation into 3D with the convert 2D to 3D tool. So let's select XY plane. right click to end the tool. With the orbit tool of Autotone, let's see how the load is added onto a vehicle and the envelope and the simulation envelope considers both the load and the vehicle to find the clearances. So we can also provide a clearance to the load and the vehicle. So with this, I hope that it's clear how to add, how to create a vehicle and how to add loads onto a vehicle. Now let's see some additional parameters for special transport vehicles. So the special transport vehicles, as you know, are oversized or weight vehicles and they have more number of axles, more number of wheels in the axle. So let's navigate to the special transport library. So in Autotone special transport library, as you can see, we have 40 vehicles, which can be used as base configuration to modify 
or create new special transport vehicles. We have special booster trailers, wind, wind blade trailers, wind tower trailers, etc. For this demo, let's select a special booster trailer, C3, and try to modify it. So let's use the copy vehicle tool in order to copy the vehicle as a whole. So we have to give a name for the vehicle. And let's save it in the demo library. So we are able to edit any of these details, which include axle group details, the length, width, etc. We can navigate to different parts with this arrow. So in this case, this dolly or the rear trailer is fixed. There are situations where the rear dolly has some steering linkages with the front part or with the tractor. In order to implement steering linkages, we have to change the steering have to make it rear steerable. So once it's made rear steerable, you can see that the new icon pops up, which is the steering linkage icon. And you click that. Autodon opens a steering linkage window and it asks for a steering linkage relationship. So in this case, if I want to have the linkage to the first part, which is the tractor, let's click part one. Autoturn automatically recognizes a linear steering linkage. But in realistic, there are there may be a non non-linear steering linkages for the vehicle. In order to add non non-linear steering linkages, we can insert points within the graph and we can change the angle accordingly with respect to the articulating angle to have variable nonlinear steering linkages. Click OK and that takes into effect. The manual steering is a huge topic, hence will not be dealt with here. So with that, today we saw how to create a vehicle from 2D single unit vehicle to a 3D multi-unit vehicle. We also saw how to add 2D and 3D loads. And we also saw how to modify a special transport vehicle with steering linkages. So let's jump back onto our presentation. And let's know more about project support services. This custom vehicle creation service is offered by the project support service team of engineers at Transoft Solutions to help you model vehicles which are not currently available within the Autoturns vehicle libraries. For example, you might want to model a specific vehicle from a manufacturer or a theoretical design vehicle from a road design guideline for your project. Our service will create the vehicle for you for a small fee so that you can perform accurate analysis. If you're interested in availing this service, simply contact our engineers at pss at transoftsolutions.com and provide them the required vehicle information. That is the vehicle details, including dimensions, steering characteristics, and profile drawings. Based on the given information, we can provide you a quote and an expected delivery time for the vehicle. Before I finish, I would like you to let you know about the upcoming webinars. So we will be back in March with the third Autoturn Tips webinar series, which deals with the need for emergency vehicle access and its analysis. Stay tuned for more information about upcoming Transoft webinars at transoftsolutions.com slash webinars. Feel free to get in touch with any questions or inquiries. Our global technical support is support at transoftsolutions.com and Sales North America, Canada is sales at transoftsolutions.com and Asia Pacific is sales at transoftsolutions.com.
With that, we have come to the end of today's presentation. And thank you very much for attending this. Now I'd like to open the floor to you. And it's your chance to ask any questions you have about any features in Autodon or Pro. I would be happy to answer any questions you may have now. Thank you.